We're in an orchard between Hillmar and Delhi, and we're looking at a non pearl tree that has severe hall rot. Hall rot's an inf infection of the hall by either one of two fungi, one being Rhizopus and the other one being Monolinea. Monolinea is also the common brown rot pathogen that we see in orchards. These fungi infect the hall as it splits, and they produce a toxin that is then translocated within the sapwood back into the limb, which then kills the limb and, of course, the branches that are you know, associate the leaves and branches associated with that limb. The nuts themselves are okay and, and will be okay for the harvest, uh, but this fruit wood will be dead next year and therefore will not bear any crop. Rot strike, and you can see that these leaves have dried up, most likely due to the loss of water from this tissue being killed, so there's no water being translocated to these uh, leaves. Most likely this is due to one of these nuts being infected with, um, in this case, monolinea, uh, we can see on this hall there is some gray fuzz, and this most likely is the monolinea pathogen infecting the hall. But my guess is it probably also has some on the inside. So if you pull off the nut and you just peel up, peel up, and then kick out the, the actual almond, um, in many cases sometimes you can see, in this case you can, there's some gray fuzz on the inside of that hall, which was producing a toxin that's moving back into this branch. It's important to note that this isn't always a gray fuzz. Um, there's cases where the rhizopus pathogen, this would be black. It'd look like a black hair or a black fuzz on the inside of the hull, and it does the exact same thing. It produces a toxin that moves back into this branch. Most years, holding back on late nitrogen applications and applying a water stress at the onset of hull split will reduce hull rot for the most part. We've done multiple scientific studies and in orchards where we applied these, these principles and stresses, we've seen a, around a 90% reduction of hall rot. In years such as this, where we have a late harvest, our later hall split and late harvest, and probably an increase within orchard humidity due to shortening of daylight hours, all this may be adding on to this, this hall rot problem that we're seeing in these orchards. In this situation, a fungicide application may be warranted, and in this orchard in particular, I, I encourage the grower to make that application of either strobulern or DMI based upon a proper fungicide rotation in order to try to get this uh, progression of this disease under control.